so we understood this we understood this now we are all ready to size for sizing we have to find the region of operations for our transistor sizing equations correct uh, when i say sizing what i am meaning here is the equation in terms of w by l3 and w by l1 what all parameters will come exactly so m3 drain is at vdd gate is at vdd source this is node 1 which is source node 1 which is source which is currently at zero but due to charge sharing it might slightly increase but it's currently at zero so the transistor is on let's find the region of operation either it's linear or saturation vds dash vgs minus vtn drain is at vdd source is at zero gate is at vdd source is at zero so this is going to be a greater than or equal to sign because there is a term which is getting subtracted from here this means that m3 transistor is in saturation let's quickly go ahead and see what's happening with m1 transistor this is a drain there's a drain which is nothing but node 1 which is at 0 volts which might increase because of charge sharing gate is at vdd and this is source which is grounded again the transistor is on we just need to identify whether it's in linear or in saturation vds dash vgs minus vtn so let's quickly see drain voltage is at 0 source voltage is at 0 so this is going to be a less than sign because gate is at vdd vdd 0 so this is vdd minus vtn which will still be greater than this part so it's a less than sign that tells us that m1 operates in linear region so from here i'll take this equation one equation two and i will take this two that m3 is in saturation and m4 m1 is in linear and now i'm all set to get what i'm looking at so i have already written m3 in saturation m1 in linear we know that w by l of m3 should be less than w by l of m1 which means that k n3 okay which means that i'll put it more simpler for you w by l of m3 upon w by l of m1 should be less than 1 let's see correct so we will try to get this equation in terms of w by l very shortly m3 is in saturation m1 is in linear i have equated the values of both their currents i'll quickly tell you why so in saturation kn3 by 2 because m3 is in saturation vgs3 minus vtn the whole square this is in linear k1 kn1 by 2 twice vgs minus vtn into vds minus vds1 the whole square now we know that the voltage at node 1 is 0 but it should be less than or equal to the threshold voltage of transistor m2 and i have assumed that all the nmos transistors have a threshold voltage which is same so vtn2 is equal to vtn so i'm just going to substitute vt v1 equal to vtn in my above equation and substitute gate drain and source and get the final value so let's do that kn3 by 2 gate of m3 is vdd i have written here you can check it from here as well vdd source of m3 is nothing but v1 vdd minus v1 minus vtn this completes my first term the second term is equal to kn1 by 2 twice vgs1 get to source of 1 which is nothing but vdd minus 0 vdd minus vtn and drain to source source is 0 and drain is at v1 for m1 drain is at v1 so into v1 minus v1 square so this is what it is now i'll put v1 equal to vtn when i do that this is what my equation will turn out to be kn by 3 by 2 equal to vdd minus twice vtn correct the whole square equal to kn 1 by 2 2 2 will i'll cancel it right now only twice vdd minus vtn into vtn minus vtn square so i've got so from this equation i can easily write the following kn3 by kn1 is equal to twice vdd minus vtn into vtn minus vtn square upon vdd minus twice vtn the whole cube or oh, sorry the whole square and what do we know w by l of m3 upon w by l of m1 we can write that mu n cox i beg your pardon kn3 is nothing but mu n cox w by l of m3 and kn1 is nothing but mu n cox w by l of m1 correct so mobility is same cancel this is cancelled that means and we know that m3 and m1 it's less than one right so i can easily say that w by l in place of kn3 i'm going to put w by l of m3 upon w by l of m1 which is equal to this value correct right now it should be less than one so i can write here a less than sign and i'll just write the same equation twice vdd 
minus VTN. I'm just simplifying it. 1.5 times VTN into VTN. See, this is nothing but VTN, VTN, which is VTN square. So twice VTN square minus twice VTN square minus VTN square. That is going to be nothing but minus 3 VTN square. Exactly same I've done here. 2 into 1.5 is 3 VTN, VTN. So it's going to be 3 VTN square upon VDD minus twice VTN, the whole square. Very, very straightforward. Only thing what we needed to understand was to find the region of operation. Now let's quickly go ahead and do the similar exercise for the right operation sizing as well. 